Hey guys, Mortgage Vickle coming back at you with a brand new video. And in today's video, I want to go over strategically planning your rental portfolio journey. So you're brand new to the market of real estate. You want to become an investor. It's probably one of the greatest investments you can make over a long term strategy. No matter what you do, if you hold on to real estate, it will always go up. Look at the data from previous years. It goes up, it goes down, it will still go up. So you want to get into the industry. There's a couple different ways you guys can get in. You can buy outright with cash. It's a great strategy, but for most people, they don't have that. Another strategy is utilizing a DSCR style. So maybe you like your current home and you have some cash and you want to be able to put 20% down on properties outside of where you live. That's a great strategy. Being that I'm licensed in all 50 states, I'm able to provide that service outside of uh, California. I can offer it in all 50 states. Now, the next strategy, that that's going to be a little bit pricey too. It's getting 20% down. So on a $500,000 home, you're looking at about 80,000 down, 80, 100,000 down. So it's expensive. But the next strategy is buying a primary residence. Guys, guidelines are changing. November, November 18th is coming. What that means is you can buy under conventional financing a primary residence of a multifamily for only 5% down. That's huge. That's crazy and that's awesome. So you guys want to get into start. You guys want to start your rental portfolio. You want to start this journey. Find a duplex, a triplex, a quadplex. Do the math. You're only going to have to put 5% down and then you can ask for some seller credit to cover some closing costs, which can be up to 3%, which is awesome. That could be close to 15, 20,000 covering closing costs. So you're pretty much coming out of pocket for just the down payment. What you guys are going to do is that duplex, triplex, quadplex, you are going to live in one unit and the other units you're going to charge rent. So let's say you're, let's say you buy a duplex, your mortgage is 4,000 but you're able to rent out one side for $2,000. In reality, your mortgage is only $2,000. Wouldn't that be nice? Now just do the math, triplex, let's say it's 5,000, but now you can rent out the other two units for 2,000 each. Now your mortgage is technically $1,000. Let's say for a quadplex, your mortgage is 7,000, but you can rent out all the other units for 2,200 because it's a nicer. Cool, now your mortgage is like less than $1,000. It's gonna look scary on paper that your mortgage payment is four, five, six, seven thousand dollars. But in turn, when you have renters, your mortgage payment isn't as bad because maybe you dish out seven thousand for your mortgage for them that month, but then your renters give you back six thousand dollars. So you're only out of pocket for a thousand. It looks scary, but it's it's not. It's just strategy. Cool. Now you live in this unit now. Now, you guys purchased this property and you've lived in it for two years. Rent out your unit, now go buy another property. Rinse and repeat. You are now building a rental portfolio without have to ever come out of, come, without ever having to put more than 20% per, like 20 down. They're putting 5% down. You're able to keep your cash, you're able to do what you want, travel, while still building a rental portfolio. It's just a matter of how you guys wanna do it. If you wanna do the cash route, if you wanna do the 20% down DSCR route, or if you wanna just do the primary residence route, we only put 5% down. There are so many strategies, and this is just breaking the ice. We have bank statement loans, construction, fix and flip. I mean, just within DSCR, there are, are tons of programs. If you guys want more information, contact me. I would love to kind of strategize, come up with a solution, kind of come up with a process. If you guys want more information, contact me.